Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. So today we're going to be decorating this area behind the nooks cranny. I did do this in stream, but it was a vertical stream. So it was really hard to see and really tiny. And I thought I would bring it to you in a speed build so that you can see what I actually really did in, you know, to decorate this. We had a great time in chat. So if you're ever feeling like coming to a stream, we have a lovely welcoming community for you. First, I need to go get the balloon. I still hear Laura's voice in my head just screaming balloon at me. And if you don't know who Laura is, she's one of my mods. We made an entire Laura Appreciation Day. She's a, an OG here in the Sweetest Honey family and community. And I love my community members. You guys know how much I just adore the members of the community. If you would like to join the community, um, you're welcome to join. We have Discord and in live streams, of course, uh, there are a lot of people who don't have Discord who are just regulars in the live streams. I decided I kind of wanted to terraform this area out. Like I wanted um, to make my rock garden up in the cliff behind Nook's Cranny. So I kind of want to terraform this up. This is my forever island, so it is always going to be here. And I just want to leave it open for redecorating in the future but at the same time i do want it to be cute so that while i'm working on other islands this island isn't a mess you know what i mean i want it to not be a mess so that I, when i'm working on all of my other islands that i decorate i want it to feel like this island is nice and complete and then if i decide to redo a section or whatever or change it with the season at least then i'm just changing it in between islands and i'm not um I'm not feeling like this one is weighing very heavy on my mind. So I've been focused on this island a lot lately just because I want it to be feel decorated. Now, there is no theme for this island at all. It's basically just a um, whatever I like, whatever I love, whatever I'm feeling at the time kind of island. The color scheme is yellow, red, and green, but there's pop, uh, pops of other colors because I've added my children to this island and they really like uh, different colors. Right now their favorite color is blue, but at a time um, it was pink for one of them and blue for the other. And so I do have a pop of pink and a pop of blue where their homes are because I built out their houses just for them. This area between, I do want it to be able to like be walkable and I want like a land bridge situation going up to an overlook behind the campsite. I also want to take that river mouth and bring it over the land bridge so that it's kind of waterlogged in some spots and maybe I'm not sure if I'm going to put an actual bridge or some hop hops. And to get to the back of this cliff, I am going to put a um, incline over here so that you can get up to the land bridge uh, from resident services. And then I'm going to also put an incline here so that you can get up to the rock garden. So now for the actual decorating. I think, of course, I always start with nature and I just do that in order to frame everything and there goes that balloon siren in my head. We have to take down the balloons. So we're going to just add in all of the trees and that kind of larger decor first. And I wanted just to um, fill out this little area in front. I have a little bunny that I think is really cute. I love those bunnies. And then I decided to move the tree over because I didn't want it directly behind the tree in front of it. And I don't know, I just like the way it looked. And I do consider that. I consider how things look from the bottom tier as well when I'm decorating. But I like doing this fence thing and leaving it off with the bush or having a bush like make up the side of it. And then usually what I do is I go and look at how that looks when I'm standing in front. But I just want to, right here, I just made some adjustments to the cliff because I wanted to put a stall over here. And then, of course, I still want to fill out this area on the side of Nook's Cranny because, you know, no side shall be left behind, I guess. I just don't like leaving empty space on my islands. 
I'm definitely not an empty space core kind of person. I'm a clutter core girl. I was going to try to keep this island nice and walkable and everything, and apparently it's just not my decorating style. So we're gonna leave it like this. And I do love how this is coming out so far. But anyways, when you look at that from the front, I like the way it looks going into Nook's Cranny. I like all of the layering. I feel like that's really good. Uh, of course, we need some barrel moments because I love my barrels. I really do. They're just, they're a whole mood for me. I got my last street lamp, you guys. I need to go Treasure Island shopping so bad. And then I just wanted to layer those flower boxes. I'm kind of turning Nook's Cranny into like a garden center. I just love the idea of having a Nook's garden center. And then... We're just going to take this path around to the incline over there. And I think it's going to look really good. Now this uh, dirt code that I'm using is one that I made on an island that I had called Lavender, which was going to be my forever island. And the reason it's not, or that it ended up not being my forever island, was actually because the island seemed to be a little bit cursed or glitched in a way. It wasn't modded, but for some reason... I couldn't catch anything besides uh, sea bass on the island. Nothing. Like nothing happened. It was just bass all day and all night. So we have Ellie over here in this area. She's my favorite villager and I love her so much. I'm asked very often who my favorite villager is. So if you guys don't know, my favorite villager is Ellie. It has always been and always will be Ellie forever and ever. I have a thing for elephants in my real life. They're a sign of protection and um, I've been often put in situations that I can't actually control. So I've always felt like a strong draw towards animals that are signs of protection for that reason. And Ellie is definitely that. She's also beautiful and cozy and that's just my vibe in life and just in general. So we have this bucket. I love the bucket so much, but I wanted to extend this little code out a little bit so that it's kind of in front or it. So it's kind of underneath the bucket as well. You know, um, I do like the fact that now you can put buckets on top of things. I mean, look at that. Isn't that magical? It, it's beautiful. And I feel like the Katamatsu is a very underused item, but it does look good. I don't know why it's not used very often, but I happen to love it. And I decided to give her her moment right there. Um, she looks beautiful with her little pink flower. And of course we needed a barking puppy plushie because they're super cute and um, they have their own little energy about them. So I made a little room on the side of this incline right here because I wanted to add some items and layer them in right there. I'm gonna go ahead and move the storage out of the way and I'm gonna do the little tree cliff hack right over here just because I want to have a tree on that cliff. It's really gonna bug me um, and I really just want it there. So we're gonna go ahead and use the hack and do our little tree cliff right here and um, this is a handy little thing if you guys don't know about it. it. It is really helpful and you can go ahead and plant any type of trees that you want right over there. There are several people who offer instructions and guidance on how to do this. The one thing I will say that is that if you plant a stunted tree like I did, then you don't have to actually plant anything behind it in order to keep it stunted. It will stay like that as long as it's on the edge of the cliff, the way I have it right there. So that's always really helpful as well. Okay, so we're just going to move along and add a little bit of filler items behind it. I want a greenhouse box over there, and then I'm going to kind of layer some stuff in front of that um, just to, you know, give it that add to that garden house kind of feel look at us go and that is our nooks cranny this time i really do love the way it came out so hopefully you guys enjoy it too so this island is my favorite i put the garden gnome there just for posterity's sake and hopefully you guys enjoy this build i really love how it came out thank you so much for being here i appreciate you so much i know you can be anywhere in the entire world and you chose to hang out with me and I appreciate that so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. 
बाय